What does it take to get out of a spiral? A losing spiral. I have Advil. the answer. Huh? Advil. I have the answer. What did it take for the Warriors to break that 12-year playoff? Count? Identifying they have a problem. Baron Davis. Well, no. Who turned it around after they missed the playoffs five years? Steph Curry. What happened to the A's after their dynasty? The 70s? What happened? How did it break? Can't say Co McGuire. Sudy Babbitt. How did the 49ers get back on high? Colin Kaepernick. Right. Boy, how did the how did the 49ers sustain that since it's at Brock yeah. Purdy? Yeah. I don't want to wait that long. Yeah. Well. I'm bummed. What now? No haircut. You need to grow it out. Who are you, Dr. J? Why did you say that? I told you I like Bonte's hair when he grows it out. You did tell him that. Yeah. Well, I do. Uh, what you uh, yeah, they're responsible. Okay. Uh, yeah, Giants. Oh. oh, now you're sl- Dude, I have, Do you I, care or do you want to just keep it real? I like the, the last three nights. Mm. He couldn't get out of the and he was grunting like Spadoni tweeted Nate Dog. <laughs> he was, did you hear him grunting? Evan's like he does that all the time. I said that was a little louder yesterday, Evan. I didn't notice him grunt. That grand yeah. slam by your boy, man. Granny Uh <laughs> I laugh into the mic. Let's have a little you fun here. That. Bob Melvin was asked if the energy might have been sapped. After a five-run first. <laughs> Why isn't it working? I just pushed the sound. Use our air. Eight, seven. You know, Tyler hits a home run it's right not, away, and now it's hold a, a on. five to one. So, no, not at all. Hold on. Oh, we reset. Let's listen to Robbie Ray. 36. Got him. <laughs> Did it again. <laughs> Got him. Is like that Monica Wimbledon Sellis. or her baseball game? That Wimbledon, twink, then a miss. Yeah. God. This is a crazy first inning. Give it that to one more. Can you play that one more time? He sounded like a... Twink. Twink. 36. Got him. Oh my. Did it again. Got him. Oh, my goodness. All that to get shells, Stiney. Hit two batters. They only had one hit off him. <laughs> they only sure that off. was Robbie Ray or the guys he hit. That was incredible. <laughs> wow. Let's hear what he, let's hear what, hey, Robbie, what happened in the first? That was a, a weird one. I felt really good warming up before the game and just came out the first inning and it was just a little off. That was one of those ones where it's, you know, kind of an anomaly because I felt so good. And the results weren't there at all. So uh, just move past it and look forward to the next one. I wonder why he sounds so down after giving up five in the first inning. No, he didn't make it out of the first is probably what I mean, man, that's kind of like yikes. I didn't, you know what? Evan, tell me what you think because you're the pitching expert. Yeah. I threw two. <laughs> but he's, he was more like Maddox. You were just a thrower. By the way, we can listen to something oh. that Greg Maddox put out yesterday. I sent it, it on the vine. Really, really cool. I, we will do that it's because incredible. I need to listen to it because even though he sent it, I didn't oh, listen. Boy. Right. But I heard it's pretty good. Bonds and Maddox. Fair. Um, as <laughs> Robbie, Evan, am I crazy? Or not? Like, I don't think he was as bad as the results were. Like, he... He got ahead of some guys. And he hit two dudes at the start to game start. He didn't walk the yeah, other. But he didn't hit them square. That I mean, anytime you put five on without a hit, like I think the Giants were down at one point. What was it six one or six or yeah, five one? Five one. Yeah. They'd given up one hit. Right. And it's, at one point, it was either six or eight, and they'd given up three hits. Wow. That only happens if you're putting guys on base, which is the oh, no one doubt. thing you can't do. And he, no the doubt. two guys he hit, it was 0-2 on both. Well, I liked his approach. <laughs> I yeah, need was, you to be my manager. He Stay was aggressive. in there, buddy. <laughs> Break a leg. All right, let's get back to the energy in that first inning and what happened after five runs scored. Bob Melvin. I, I think it was more just about Robbie being, you know, we, we want to make sure he's okay and healthy. 
uh, you know, he would have wanted to try, try to grind through it. But no, we come back and, you know, Tyler hits a home run right away and now it's all a five to one. So no, not at all. I'm especially after the Homer. Okay. Those are the kind of answers that bother me. Yeah. Break it down. Stunning. Oh no, they were gung ho. I mean, they were fired up after being down five. Oh, how can it not affect you? Man. It affected Evan. He left in the third, man. I watched the whole broadcast. I I turned it off after it was. Well, let me see. I'll take you through my night. Uh, saw the five. Saw Fitzgerald's homer. Who hit the third? Was it Olson? What about Solaire trying to catch Fitzgerald's homer? Huh? Boy, boy, Giants could use a guy like Solaire <laughs> spraying it to all fields. <laughs> stop. Uh, then I, you know, then I went to the radio, and there was equal disgust on the radio from the announcers. Then I went back home, and it was 13, and I said, I think I got the gist of this one. Yeah, they squandered an opportunity. This week has which, been an which opportunity. Which one? Having the team that you're chasing in your ball yard for four, and, you know, not even to show up yesterday. Think there was any correlation with having your heart ripped out the night? They're just not getting it done with the bats, Donnie. But yesterday was about the pitching. Still no, I mean, they man, their offense is offensive. How about that? Yeah. I'm not even going to score that one. I didn't like it. So, Evan, help me with some of this sound. What's this stuff from Farhan? I'm not going to get to it. Is this from better days? These were for better days ago? Yeah, the, this was from the trade deadline when he discussed uh, the best pitching rotation gotcha. in the league. All right. I'm not going to – I'm going to go to that in a minute because I want to hear more of uh, Bob Melvin. Here's how uh, – how do you think the first three games have gone? The first two, obviously, are, are real tough ones for us. But this team's had a way of bouncing back. You know, today we just got behind it early and, you know, just gave up a bunch of runs. So it was, you know, once you take some guys out of the game, it's a little bit settled before for the outcome. But this is one we really need to come back and try to win. Tomorrow's, I don't want to say anything's a must game, but we, we need to get back to 500 tomorrow and then have an off day and regroup. Yeah. Yeah. You turn this Webb. thing around. You yeah. got Logan Webb on it the It don't mound. matter if you got Jesus. You need somebody that can hit. They got two runs last night, Steiner. How's Tyler Fitzgerald hitting for you? Is he doing enough? I mean, he's flashing right now. I mean, Ramos flashed the first half to an all-star appearance, so I have no problem with it. Baseball will humble you. He's come back to earth, but he still he looks like he belongs. Fitzgerald, come out of nowhere. He's yeah. come out of nowhere. Can and he that, sustain it over 162? I don't know. Uh, but Evan pointed out when you look at Fitz in, in, in late innings, you know, he ain't having the same results as early on in the game. But I do like him. But they just don't hit, partner. Evan has some uh, – Evan – Tell us what you were telling us about Tyler Fitzgerald. Not it's not an opinion. Yeah. He's looked at no. some, he's looked at some advanced numbers. No, it look, Tyler Fitzgerald is hitting the crap out of the ball. And he's about the only exciting part offensively with this Giants team. But the amount of players that across the minor leagues strike out at a rate that he does and then have a long term career are very few. Yeah. So what he's doing is an exceptional outlier. But just like wisely earlier in the year, Schmidt to some extent last year, Keep going. even Ramos to a little bit in the first half of the season, there's probably going to be a point where he tapers off a bit. And that's that's like my biggest issue with the Giants is that they are far too dependent on players like Tyler Fitzgerald carrying them yeah. for a long period of time when it's unreasonable to expect that that's going to continue. And they haven't had enough players that consistently can do that at the same time. Like first, you know, at the beginning of the year, I don't know, it was could have been Conforto. I think Conforto was really hot to start the year, then he got hurt. Okay, so who's going to pick it? All right, well, you don't have enough bats altogether that perform at a level that you need to win. Yep. And I just think it's interesting that, I mean, you talk about trying to develop young players and someone like Luciano gets five starts after the break and then he gets subbed out for, wow. you know, a prospect, Grant McCray, who's nice, but... Can fly. I, I don't know what they're doing. You I don't think know what they're trying to Bo do. that was Bo Mill or that was Farhan? That I was Farhan. It. Yeah, see, and that's what I hate about it, guys. But also, just starting about uh, Fitzgerald, that's why it was a joke you had him bunt. That's why that was a joke. 
Uh, not everybody agrees with you. And even if you get to third with one out, the way this team is hitting, that's not even automatic. If you're the Yankees or the Dodgers or you're a powerhouse offensively, I get it. But this team is so impotent at the plate, so I would have let the young kid hit, man. Well, and and I respect that, but I, I lean heavily on on my two baseball experts. Who you got? Evan Giddings and Andrew Baggerly okay. of the Athletic. Bags. And both those guys disagree with you. So I'm gonna. But Evan, you didn't. You don't listen to him. No, I do. Yesterday listen to him. he said, "You know, Goo, I'm coming. I, I, I can kind of feel you on that. I don't all the well, way." I'm not agree. saying he couldn't feel you, but yeah. he he understood the other side of it too, yeah. the other side of the argument. Well, it didn't work, so my side was the right side, and that's what I would disagree with you about because it's baseball. I think sometimes you can make the right decisions. They just don't work out. Well, you don't bunt. That's not a part of who you Evan. are. And then you try to bunt all of a sudden. That was stupid. Evan. It was desperate by the manager, and it blew up in your face. Let the young kid rake. It's my two cents. What you, What was his philosophy there, <laughs> Evan? Which one? The, the bunt where he should, they should have thrown the guy out at third. At, but. Uh, uh, Fitzgerald? Yes. Out. Yeah, that was that was the biggest issue. Schmidt got bailed <laughs> out. You, they got bailed out and still didn't make him pay. Yeah. By the way, th- this is really the, 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 cr- the crux of the issue with the Giants right now. This is from the 650. Fitzgerald is the face of the franchise right now. <laughs> and so was Ramos in the first half. So they was Wisely. They don't have a face. That, I, hello? Uh, how about in ownership, too? They're faceless. Why don't they have a face? Scared. No, they're not scared to have a face. Nobody wants to be the bad, face, bad. And, or nobody's good enough. And the to Giants be the got face. money too. Ownership, they got deep pockets. And they spent. Well, you got me there. Uh, Bob Melvin left to answer the Luciano question: Why have they moved off Luciano right now? Because Encarnacion was swinging a little bit better at the time. You know, Canna got here too. He was potential DH as well. So things can change in a hurry. And again, we're trying to run our best line about there and have our best compliment on a particular day. You know, it was easy to at that point in time to try to envision more at bats for Luciano, but it kind of dried up in a hurry. Okay. Wow. Can we focus Go on ahead. the Can first the, own? the first split second? Can we focus on the first he gets asked about Luciano? Because Encarnacion was swinging Cause. a little bit better at the time. You know, Canna got here too. He did not want to answer that question. Wow, man. So you sacrificed him for Canna. I like Canna. Neon. I don't even know where he came from. Get out of here, man. I don't like I'm Troy Aikman. I don't like any of it. And you said they spent, but they were like Brett. Not wisely. <laughs> That's a three. <laughs> you gotta look at you. Somebody give me that number. My boy said two. Three. No, oh, three. I'll give you a three. Yeah, that was a bar. No, GP3. I, like, how did he know to hit the button that fast or even find it? GP3. They don't get enough credit for what they do and bring to the show. Style. The timing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Mike. Mike's in Santa Clara. Oh, boy. That's where Brandon Ayuk is in practicing. Oh, yeah, there you go. Hey, Mike. <laughs> hey guys, uh, good to hear from you. Um, I'm just curious, like I'm, you know, our card Giants fan ever since like 84. I'm, I'm just like, what the hell do we have to do to make a freaking move, you know, to make this team relevant again? I mean, I'm even thinking about even trying to put like Logan Webb into a trade. If we have honestly like the best, if we have the best lineup with starting pitching with Blake Snell and everyone else, what do we have to do to get someone over here? It's getting, it's honestly disgusting mm. at this point. Just to try to find a bat that can actually power us to be relevant again, or even just get some sort of, uh, some sort of like, you know, just making the Giants fans happy. At this point, what what would that so be? Just, well, I really wish we had gotten. Uh, we tried harder for Vlad in this point. Gotcha. You know, uh, that just as an example. Just as an example. Right, right. So 
but we need something. We need something. And I don't know what's going to happen during the off season. I don't think any of us do at this point. But even trying to make a trade for it. Um, but, you know, for me, guys, I would even try to even put in there Logan Webb. Um, just to get something if it's a trade in there at this point. I'm with you. Because we honestly have the best. Yeah, if we have, like, the best, you know, starting pitching lineup, as Farhan says, which it's it's okay. It's okay. I could still I could still go to ball with that at that at that same time. So thanks guys. Thank you. Yeah, a lot of people wouldn't that would hit the cardiac muscles down anywhere, but I'm just okay, you got these these great pitchers and why would Snail want to stay here if you're not a threat to win? But if you're not gonna swap out the players, which it doesn't look like, you went on a spending spree what does next year look like? I I don't know. Do guys all of a sudden get Toolage under Pat Barrel, Stiney, and their, their their approach is different? I I like everything's on the table for me with the Giants because this can't continue. And you talk about when was the last time they won a playoff series? Fourteen? Mm-hmm. Oh my, that's a decade. Have you remember I brought up that I, stat? I, 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 but I'm just think about it, man. I do think about it. I do think about it. And think about Logan Webb. He's just rotting away here, not even pitching on big in big time games. Are they failing Logan Webb? <laughs> wow! I, Are the Giants it, failing Logan I, Webb? Ask him. Ask him. But that's not too far fetched, brother. I just don't understand why they haven't, like, really tried to build a team around pitching. And you could say they did it this year, but they did it this year out of necessity. Well, you had Gosman and you ran him off. Exactly. And by the way, oh, no, how's my guy doing in New York? I, oh, Rodon, he's got his groove back. But when How many you other guys? Peterson, I mean, that Jock hit me. Peterson. That hit me. Alex Cobb pitching pretty well. I'm just saying. How's Joey Bart doing in Pittsburgh? They're doing well. They lost 10 in a row. It did, but he's doing well for himself. Is he hitting 340? He got about what, uh, 12, 11 homers? He's hitting like 260. Yeah. Mm. Joey is a player. He's it's hitting an, better than what you got here with Bailey, but behind the plate, Bailey's 1.7. What is it? It's an organizational failure. I don't, man. I don't know what the answer is. I really don't. And I don't think they do. And what scares me about they, I don't even know if they know what the question is. Now, that's poignant, but what does it mean? Have you looked at Farhan as a failure? You cannot sit here and say, oh, this dude's doing an okay job because we're in San Francisco. Let me tell you something about this beautiful city. Let me tell you Stop something about the caping for the city. It doesn't need caping. Just drive across oh, the Bay Bridge. it needs caping, all right. This pl- please, Donnie. Three and five. See, we this called is, it a dynasty. Yeah, with homegrown guys. Well, See, I if you don't, if you don't believe that, that it's, that there's truth that big boy hitters don't want to come here because of the park. I don't believe that. Then prove it to me. Well, give me the job, and well, I'll, I'll I'll go wine and dine, have some margaritas, some salsa, go to a nice Mexican restaurant out here, and I'll sell the Giants. That's you know, what it's about. You know what, Goo? That's... Give me Theo Epstein. He'll close somebody, Stiney. I, I really believe that. I watched that dude at the Bears Sports Hall of Fame ceremony. He wasn't working the room. That's who's selling. It's, it's like asking a girl to dance. You got to have flair. You got to have dress right. You got to have confidence. This dude ain't doing none of that. But you know, San Francisco. No, it's a combination. Get Bobby Myers in there. Closers close. Stiney, Pat Riley would close. No. You're so off base. I swear, to I'm my not, way of thinking. I feel like this. I'm watching my favorite so, movie. Like I, like I don't know where to go. If Guru, you won't even acknowledge that part of the problem is oh, the ballpark. I, 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 okay, I hope you think you I'm won't not, even I acknowledge. You, there's a, there's a you won't even that. acknowledge that part of the problem could be part, not all, the city. You don't acknowledge that maybe a small part of the other problem could be. The taxes. And, oh, Tony's paying taxes and same not, taxes not, in LA. You're not acknowledging. Here. You're not acknowledging. Crime is the same in not, LA that it is exa- here. You're not acknowledging that some players might not want to play here because 
This franchise doesn't win anymore. No, okay. no, no Snotty, come on now. Okay. I think that's heavier than the ballpark. But the whole thing is convince me what's, what's the plan. You Dude. are the plan if I'm talking to Judge, if I'm talking to Stanton. It, it's, we're going to build around you. Oh, okay. And why would they do that, Goo? Why would they do that? Well, why would they take the meeting, partner? They, and, to create leverage, mm, which they use. I'm used. not saying you're, you're wrong on that, but. You act like we didn't have our finger at this station on the breaking news sounder. The judge was going to sign here. Willard and Dibbs went and did a great. show in Linden, his hometown. Oh, so, like, but don't don't run from you were like, let me, uh, 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 Bubba on Twitter reporting that he might, all that happened. All you needed was None a of it, salesman. They did not sign. Okay, then fire Farhan. Oh, I, and, oh he the free agents. The free agents will come flooding no, in here. I would rather not get them, knowing at least we tried something different. That's all. This dude has failed, Steiny. I'm not sitting here saying he it's, has it. It is not the second but, inning of his tenure. But you're, we're, in, we're in extra. That's all fine, but you're to ignore to ignore what is is pretty obvious to me. Is a failure on your part. The taxes, the, the ballpark. Paying the, oh. I, you, oh man, what? I know people hate to hear it, but it's true. It's a lot of different factors. It's never one thing. We got to get. We have Brett Boone on. Maybe we get a like somebody a hitter that can speak to how much do you think that ballpark is is being is is the main reason. Boppers are not coming here. Like, I don't even care about the main Stani reason. Made that park look, and I know you're like, one, that was one bopper. series. Well, no, Schwarber, Otani, Judge, Soto, right-handed hitter, left-handed hitter. So you're taking a, a one-series no, sample and, and size. And I'll give that to you, but you know what I mean, And man. I think, I think I, I just don't, I mean, what more proof do you Fitzgerald need? Fitzgerald ain't having a problem hitting it out. And that, I'm just, but what if it was somebody ten times, you know, better at hitting long ball that's more established than him? I just don't understand why you can't see why if my name's Matt Steinmetz and I hit 45 home runs last year as a Yankee, why would I even consider coming yeah. here? And I hope you know that I'm trying the to give you. The ballpark's harder. The team is not good. Oh, Maybe you don't like the West Coast. Maybe you don't like the taxes. I'm just saying to ignore the things that are staring you and in I'm, the face. Sta I, you know I'm not. That's being strong. I'm well, not. Well, you're not acknowledging that the ballpark doesn't have anything to do with it. But it's not 100% why me. they're not coming. There is no 100%. It's going to be a variety of reasons for each player. And the problem is there are way too many reasons not to come here. Then all you have to do is find one. But there are, there are countless of them. I, Pete, you hit the nail on the head. It's a pitcher's park. Build with pitching and defense. Or how about speed? Right. Why isn't this team faster? It's going to take something or out of the some, ordinary. Or somebody. Or out of the ordinary. That's the way to get out of this. David Hernandez on the YouTube. Stani hit the nail on the head. I don't agree, but. And like I'm not no you no because you, no, no, you're you think that the San Francisco Giants are a preeminent franchise in Major League Baseball. That's the other thing you need to get out of your head, everybody. They're not.